The Newt Hitch. Hello everybody, welcome back. And today's little knot that we're going to learn is the Newt Hitch. And basically, not okay, one thing to mention about the Newt Hitch is don't confuse this with the Newt Friction Hitch because that is a different knot that arborists use. So anyway, this is the Newt Hitch. And my understanding is, and once again, if I find out any more information about this after I've made this video, check out the description down below and I'll put more information about the newt hitch there. Anyway, from my understanding is that this is a semi-permanent way of attaching a tool to a lanyard so you can lower it whatever you want. And it was, it came about by a guy called Brian Toss, who is a master rigger, and in fact I've got one of his books, and I believe he named this particular hitch after his favourite marlin spike. Whether or not he lost his marlin spike and then decided to tie a hitch round the next one, I don't know, but maybe he'll tell me the story because I think we're friends on Facebook. So anyway, that is the new hitch, and the other thing to note about this particular knot is there is also something similar um, in Ashley's book of knots and that will appear just there and it's hitch number 1965. So anyway, without further ado, let's get on and let's get knotting. Right, so here's my dilemma. I have a tool, I don't want to lose it over the side or anywhere else or drop it on someone, which is even more important. And so the thing what I want to do is I want to attach to my tool a simple semi-permanent lanyard knot as such. And so to tie the newt hitch, the first thing that we need to do is in the end of our lanyard, we need to tie a stopper knot. It doesn't matter what knot you use. You can use the Ashley stopper knot, a figure of eight stopper knot. In this particular case, just for this exercise here, I'm just going to tie a simple overhand knot. So I'm going to go round over the top of itself, like so to form a loop, bring it round underneath. And there we go. We've now tied a simple stopper knot in the end of our lanyard. That's the that's the easy bit. Next bit's even easier. And so now that we've got our stopper knot tied in there, the next thing we want to do is pass our cordage through the hole of our tool as such. So the first thing that I do is I get hold of my lanyard and I form a bite in the lanyard. Now the thing to remember as well with this is your lanyard has to be thin enough to pass through the end of your the eye of your tool there. So I've now put a bite in my lanyard and the next thing I do is I just basically pass that bite, a little bit tight, there you go, passed it through the lanyard and now it's coming out and we have a loop protruding there at the top. Now that I have passed that loop through, I then get my working end which has got the stopper knot attached to it there and I just pass it through that loop at the top there that we've created and there we go, pass, pass it through, pass that knot through that loop, and then once we've passed our knot through that loop, the next thing I'm gonna do is just hold it in position, pull it down nice and tight, and you can see now here that we've now got a really, really secure way of lowering or raising our tools or having them attached to ourselves on a lanyard without the risk of losing it. And to be honest, providing the cordage is thick enough to give you a little bit of friction inside here. That is not coming undone. The only way that this is coming undone is if you actually pull up on the stopper to pull some of the bite through that's going through your tool. Just open it up like so, pull it out there, and then pull it out. So in other words, you can probably have a lanyard to your belt with just a stopper knot in at the end, and all you need to do is just get a bite of it, feed that bite through the eye of your tool like so. Then once you've done that, open up the bite a bit at that end there, get hold of the stopper knot, and then just pass it through that bite. And then on the standing end, pull it down to lock that stopper knot in place. And there you have it. That is now really, really secure. That is not gonna shake itself 
lose it all. And so that was really the newt hitch, very quick, very simple, but boy, a wonderful way of securing objects, tools to a lanyard. So anyway, once again, thanks everybody for watching. Always ask you, please do share these videos because it helps out the channel. And I'll see you all again next time. Take care then. Bye-bye.